beautiful people. Welcome to Pisa Does Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. Exciting video today because you guys are gonna come join me to my very first Google I.O. In this video, we're gonna be checking out Google's newly released devices. I got hands on time with the Pixel Fold, the Pixel 7a, and even the Pixel Tablet. Exciting. But before we get into it, a quick shout out to Team Pixel. Google did fly me out and give me accommodations for this event. And I did have sponsored content with them that went live on the Google Pixel TikTok page. But that was it. This video, I'm doing it just because I had such a great time. And the Pixel Fold is so cool, you guys. Right, so let's get to it. Today's adventure. Touchdown Mountain View, California, where Google I.O. is being held. And for those of you who are new, this is Google's annual developer conference where they announce all the cool stuff. It's an exciting day. But before the announcements, snacks. Lol, yeah, there was so much free food. They have everything here. The event opened with a very trippy video which was AI generated. Something about ducks too. Suffice to say, we were hyped. What are you guys excited about? The Pixel uh, Fold 7. Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Google I.O. First up, AI features for Gmail. Writing emails has never been this easy with Help Me Write. Let's say you got this email that your flight was canceled. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Write. Just type in the prompt of what you want, an email to ask for a full refund, hit create, and a full draft appears. As you can see, it conveniently pulled in Flight details from the previous email. And it looks pretty close to what you want to send. Maybe you want to refine it further. In this case, a more elaborate email might increase the chances of getting the refund. <laughs> for Google Maps, there's immersive view for routes. I want to go on a bike ride. Maps has given me a couple of options close to where I am. I like the one on the waterfront, so let's go with that. Looks scenic. I want to get a feel for it first. Click on Immersive View for Routes, and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride. And, and as we turn, we get onto a great... You can also check today's air quality. Looks like AQI is 43, pretty good. And if I want to check traffic and weather and see how they might change over the next few hours, I can do that. Looks like it's going to pour later, so maybe I want to get going now. Immersive view for routes will begin to roll out over the summer and launch in 15 cities by the end of the year, including London, New York, Tokyo, and San Francisco. And one of the things I'm most excited about. This is a great photo, but as a parent, you always want your kid at the center of it all. And it looks like the balloons got cut off in this one. So you can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy. What? Magic editor oh. automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. We are excited to roll out magic editor in Google Photos later this year. Dude, I need that. New Android things were also announced. My highlights include Find My Device. It's powered by a network of billions of Android devices around the world. If you leave your earbuds at the gym, other nearby Android devices can help you locate them. Unknown tracker. It's important these warnings work on your Android phone. This is true. But on other types of phones as well. That's why last week we published a new industry standard with Apple, outlining how unknown tracker alerts will work across all smartphones and Magic Compose. It's a new feature coming to Google Messages powered by generative AI that helps you add that extra spark of personality to your conversation. So just type your message like you normally would and then choose how you want to sound. Magic Compose oh will God. do the rest. So your messages give off more positivity, 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there are also fun wallpaper things like emoji wallpapers, which allow you to customize, well, exactly that. Emoji as wallpapers. And then uh, pattern wise, uh, we've got a bunch of different patterns you can pick. Um, I'm going to pick mosaic, that's my favorite. I'm going to play the zoom. Let's see if we get this just right. Okay, I got enough duck sand there. Okay, cool. And then colors, uh, let's see, uh, ooh, that pops. Uh, let's go with a more muted one, uh, or maybe that one. That one looks good, that looks good, I like that one. We also now have cinematic wallpapers, and you can also do AI-generated wallpapers. So let me uh, activate that, and then wait for it. Now, under the hood, we're using an on-device convolutional neural network to estimate depth, and then a generative adversarial network for in-painting as the background moves. The result is a beautiful cinematic 3D photo. And check out the parallax effect as I tilt the device. It literally jumps off the screen. And finally, the hardware announcements. Let's start with the one that I am most hyped about. is the Pixel Fold and of course the main thing about it, it unfolds! Google's official entry to the foldable game, the Fold is a Google Tensor G2 run smartphone with a 7.6 inch unfolded screen. When folded, it has a better size than other foldables in the market with a wider screen that my tiny hands can comfortably manage and despite this, so sleek! I'm not the biggest fan of foldies that unfold into a tablet because you guys know me, I like my clamshell foldies. But this east to west foldy size, I can get on board with. It comes in two colors, but... I really want this white one. The Pixel Fold has fun features like multitasking, a comfortable split keyboard for unfolded typing, tabletop mode, and camera modes like your cam selfies. Perfect for my Instagram shots! That looks good. And the back is turned off, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So you're not getting accidental touch. Yeah, perfect. Because with the Oppo, like, I have to hold it like that. Because, yeah. yeah. I couldn't touch this. Right? That's true. That's All fun stuff, but not necessarily new for foldies. But Google actually found another fun use case. Interpreter mode. Basically using that screen to show other people real-time translations. This is ingenious. All in all, I think that the Pixel Fold is really, really promising. I love the size of this foldable. And it is a very sleek foldy as well. Google did claim that it's the thinnest foldable, but in territories where they offer this foldy. So remember that caveat. And I will say I have seen other foldies that fold thinner than the Google Pixel Fold. Although this particular foldy isn't being sold in a lot of places and definitely not in the US. What's better than a pixel fold? Two pixel folds. Mine now. The Pixel 7a is also official and oh my gosh, it comes in this special edition coral color. It's so pretty! The $500 successor to the Pixel 6a runs on a Tensor G2 processor and it's available in the market right now where Pixel phones are available. And finally, there's also the Pixel tablet which redefines how we use our tablet. Also powered by a Google Tensor G2, this tablet includes a dock that's also a speaker. Now what's cool about this is that together, this speaker dock and tablet effectively becomes a smart home speaker speaker, well, with an 11-inch detachable screen. And yes, that dock does charge the tablet. I mean, aside from that, it also comes with this cute silicone case that effectively fits with the speaker dock and becomes a stand in itself. Specifically, I'm definitely excited for that Pixel tablet because I'm not a tablet person. It really resonated with me when they talked about how they wanted to change a tablet's use case. In Google's world, tablets are devices you can use at home for multiple purposes that will also stand alone as sort of like a smart speaker or a smart screen and I'm all for it. I love this implementation. I want it in my house and I can't wait to test these devices out. Hopefully we can make that happen. Anyway, that's it for today, you guys. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about the devices that we just tested out. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Till next time.